Hello, 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 OMG. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. It's Monday. Happy Monday. It's Jody Dunn, and I'm coming at you today with some Walgreens transactions. I was really wanting to kind of get back on the schedule that I was doing before where I did um, Walgreens on Sunday. I always like to do Walgreens on Sunday because CVS takes me a little bit more planning than Walgreens and do CVS on Monday. But y'all know it's the beauty event week and I had some additional um, purchase space threshold coupons that I haven't used. So I wanted to go ahead and get that done. And thank you to my friend, Brittany, Expecting Miracles, who let me know that there is a surprise register reward printing out. So I wanted to test it today so that I could get it done like at the beginning of the week and bring you guys the information in case you are trying to stock up on extra register rewards. So we're gonna go in the store and well, I'm gonna go in the store and see if I get that additional register reward so that I can share that with you guys. So if you are new, I would love if you would please say hello to me right down there and drop new or tell me that you're new so I can welcome you and thank you so, so much for being here. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back to yet another video. I so, so appreciate you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Sending you lots of big hugs on this beautiful Monday, and I'd love to hear how you are doing. I don't know why I said Monday like that. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so I got a 5 off 20 to use, and then I have a 5 off 12, a 5 off 15, and another 5 off 20 to use. So I'm hoping that the store has the items that I want to pick up. So I'm going to run in grab my stuff, take you back to the kitchen table. We're going to see how we did today and if we got that extra register reward. So I'll be right back. As always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing. I have not seen the beauty event booster yet. It hasn't showed up in my accounts. I that means maybe I might not be getting it or it just hasn't gone out yet. I don't know. I would love to hear. Drop it down in the comments and let me know if you have gotten it yet. It seems like last time it showed up on Monday, but maybe it'll be later tonight. I'm not sure. I'm still crossing my fingers that I get it. So let me know. I will post on the community tab today the picture of the paper flyer that Lachelle sent me so you all can have that as well. All right, I'm going in the store, then we will get back to the kitchen table. All right, we are back at the kitchen table and here is my transactions for the day. I told you I was testing out to see if we got that surprise register reward and that was for the Old Spice. So I will fill you in on that. I did pick up a transaction today that I wasn't actually planning on picking up. Um, that's kind of what happens sometimes when you go in the store and you decide to browse for a little while instead of sticking to your plan. So I was just gonna look real quick and see if they had that Cottonelle, because if you saw my video from yesterday, I do have a thank you booster on my account for a thousand points when I buy any Cottonelle. And the 12 equals 24 rolls is on sale this week for $4.99, normally $9.99. We don't have any coupons for it, but I did saw it, so I decided to pick it up. And then, like I said, the browsing happened. I saw Viva, I haven't seen Viva in forever. That is on sale for $4.99, but we have an IVC coupon that takes off a um, dollar. So I had her scan that for that. So $3.99 for a package of Viva is pretty decent. And then I had kind of forgot, but the laundry deal that I picked up last week, was it last week? This is a month long deal. It's buy three, get one free. And so I just decided to make it a whole transaction. And because of that booster coupon that I had, the thank you, I did have to pay cash for this one. So you guys don't see that from me very often. I thought I would share it with you today. 
<laughs> this whole haul, so dang excited. Oh, what did I do with my paper? Ended up being, I did pay a little bit of cash out of pocket, um, but it ended up being free plus a dollar and 12 cent moneymaker. I'm so, so excited to show you how I made this a moneymaker. I told you guys about the PG Good Everyday um, website, and that is how I was able to make this a moneymaker. Without that, it would have been a very, very small cost. And considering I got four laundry items, a package of Viva, a package of Cottonelle, I'm pretty dang happy with that. So again, that was my unplanned transaction. <laughs> All right, so... Oh everything's falling. The, um, I told you guys, it should have been a little bit more clear yesterday. I told you guys all of those new Crest and Oral-B coupons we got are not attaching to the $2.99. Toothpaste is what I meant. They are some of them. The toothpaste that's giving back the 4,000 points that we made huge money makers for last week, it's not attaching to those. It is attaching to the $2.99 toothpaste that is giving back a $3 register reward. And it is attaching to the $2.99 toothbrushes that are giving back a $3 register reward. Now, if you got this funky, well, we all got it. I think we got four Crest coupons on Sunday. If you got this funky one, this $5.97 off three, they planned this one just right. And if you open up your coupon, you can actually scroll through and see the products that they qualify for. So these toothbrushes were on sale for $2.99, buy three, get a $3 register reward. So those total you $8.97. The coupon takes off $5.97, leaving you to pay $3 and you get back a $3 register reward. So it makes them completely free. Same thing with the certain $2.99 toothpaste. So that little funky coupon for $5.97 gives you a freebie, which a freebie is always awesome, especially in my opinion. We can get toothpaste all the time. It's not very often we can get um, mouthwash or um, toothbrushes for free or a moneymaker. I did get a moneymaker on some toothbrushes. Yes, yes, super excited about that. All right, so those are the ones that are on sale, $3.99. And they are giving back 4,000 points for every two that you buy. And with the purchase based coupons and the other coupons that I used, it made it free. Now, it just doesn't want to stay up. I'm not messing with it. You do have to clip them in certain orders. This is the only time that I will ever tell you to not clip all of your um, coupons. When they're booster coupons for points back and things like that, you got to clip those right away. When they are manufacturer coupons, I have never seen them go away unless they are getting ready to expire. So this was not my main account where I accidentally clipped all of them yesterday. I did this very strategically. All right, so let me show you the receipts. So here is my very unplanned transaction. <laughs> my Tide, my Downy, my Tide, and then my Free Tide. Buy three, get one free going on all month long. There's my Viva for $4.99, had her scan the IVC coupon, and there is the Cottonelle for $4.99. I used a dollar paper coupon off of the Downy. Of course, it attached to the Tide because that's what the dang coupons have been doing. I used a $2 off of the Liquid Tide and a $2 off of the Tide Pods that attached to the dang Downy. And then on this one, I did use two register rewards that were expiring today. So my subtotal was $9.95. Yes, I did actually pay that one cash out of pocket because I wanted to get back my 1,000 points for the um, cotton out. Here's what I totally forgot about. Look how many points I got back. I got back 6,000 dang points. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I had that booster, the spend 20, earn 5,000 points. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> I wanted to save it for the Ding Beauty event to stack it if I hopefully get the 7,000 booster, beauty booster. And I totally forgot because I just kept on picking up things because I was browsing. So it's totally fine. So this transaction just by itself without everything factored in ended up only costing me. I did pay 9.95 cash out of pocket, but I got back $6. 
So $3.95 for four laundry products, Aviva and a Cottonelle is pretty dang fantastic. All right, this is the transaction I actually went in to do. <laughs> I got the four Old Spice Body Wash. They are on promotion this week. When you buy two, you get a $4 register reward. You cannot get multiple register rewards in the same transaction on the same promotion. I did four for two reasons. First, the main reason is because I had an $8 off of four Old Spice coupon that I wanted to use. The second reason I did it was because um, I was testing out that surprise register reward and I actually saw Budget Boss coupon. She only purchased one and she got a $1.25 surprise register reward. I've seen other people purchase two and they got two fifty. dollars So I thought, I wonder if I'm going to get five. <laughs> So this one I used the five off 20 and then the $8 um, digital coupon came off. My subtotal was 11. I did use $10 in points. So I paid a subtotal of $1 on this, got no points back, but I did get back my $4 register reward. Hang on, trying to separate them all. My $4 register reward, and I did get back the surprise register reward, but it was only $2.50, so it must be a limit. And this one, look at how much longer this one is than this one. So it's totally a different deal. So I think, I will pop it up on the screen, but I think this is a month long, like Catalina promotion. So if you just bought one, you would get $1.25. If you bought two, you'll get $2.50 no more than that. All right. So that was my planned transaction. Then I moved on to my other card where I had a five off 12, five off 15 and a five off of 20. So the first deal I did was I picked up some more Olay bars because I wanted to get the bars versus the body wash. So they are two for six. My five off 12 came off. I used $2 paper coupons for the Olay from our June P&G. My subtotal was $5. I redeemed five in points, so I paid nothing as of a subtotal on this one. And I did get back my $4 register reward. Actually, I didn't get back my $4 register reward. And when I asked, they called over the manager. The manager was super sweet at this store. She went on another register and printed my, um, and she just rang the transaction up to see if the register reward would print. And it did at that register. So then I had to move over because I had two more transactions. I had to move over to the other register because that register was not printing the um, register rewards. So then for my next transaction, I picked up these four right here. They are $3.99 each for a total of $15.96. I used my five off 15. I had a dollar um, digital coupon for the one toothbrush and then a seven off of three. There is also a five off of three that will attach to these toothbrushes, so I did not clip that one because I wanted the seven to come off. I paid $2.96, I think that is. That was my subtotal. I used $3 in points, so I paid nothing in a subtotal, and what I got back was 8,000 points. How fantastic is that? So we got toothbrushes for three bucks and we got back eight. We made $5 on Ding toothbrushes. That hardly ever happens. So, so excited about that transaction. Make sure you're clipping your digitals in order of how you want to use them. Now the $5.97 digital that I used in the next transaction on this one, that did not attach to these ones. So they are only attaching each to certain things. All right, then this was my last transaction, my five off 20. I picked up the Venus and the three Oral-B. I actually spent way more than 20 on this one, but I just wanted to go ahead and use that other 597 coupon. And it would have been the same thing had I done the transaction separately. And then I picked up two of the L'Oreal eyeshadows. My five off 20 came off, my four off Venus came off, my three off L'Oreal and my two off L'Oreal and my $5.97 off of three crest came off. So my subtotal was $10.97. I was left to pay 97 cents because I used $10 in points. So I was left to pay only 97 cents in cash. And what I got back on that one was um, a $4 register reward for Venus, a $3 register reward for the crest, 
and a $5 register reward for the L'Oreal. So I had a subtotal of 10. I got back, what is that, 9, 10, 11. I got back $12 in register rewards. So pretty dang fantastic. So these are all of my register rewards that I earned today. I think I added $22.50 in register rewards just today. So that is awesome. So everything together here, I'm gonna give you these totals as if you did not have the points to use. Cause I only technically paid, um, what did I pay in cash? Did I write it down? I paid $11.92 cash out of pocket for my subtotal on all of this. And remember that first transaction was $9.95 cash out of pocket. So if you're not picking up that one, if you're just wanting to pick up all the things that are giving back all of the rewards, because that gave me back nothing except for that thousand points that I had um, for the thank you of Cottonelle, but I got all those laundry products and paper products. So if you're not wanting to do that, then what did I say? $9.95 cash out of pocket. So it would have been less than $2 cash out of pocket for me because I used points. That's so fantastic. So what I paid in total, my subtotal for all five of these transactions was, was $39.88. So if you were a newbie and you didn't have points to use, it would cost you $39.88 if you got all of this stuff. I got back in points $8,000. And six thousand, I got back one five dollar register reward, three four dollar register rewards, a three dollar register reward, and a two fifty register reward, making that a final cost of three dollars and thirty eight cents for all of these items. I got twenty one items here. That brings it down to sixteen cents an item. I think that is fantastic. Now, if you took out the laundry deal and you just did all of the rest of this stuff over here, the subtotal for that was $29.93, and you would get back 8,000 in points, a $5 register reward, three $4 register rewards, a $3 register reward, and a $2.50 register reward, making it all free plus a 57 cent money maker. Pretty dang fantastic to get everything from here over for free plus a 57 cent money maker. But I already told you guys about this and I hope you didn't miss that video because it is a great new program that PG has put has like started. So you just go to pggoodeveryday.com, you register a free account and you can scan up to three receipts per day. And they give you 50 points for each PG product that you buy on your receipts up to three per transaction. So on the one where I did the Old Spice, I'm only going to get 150 points versus 200 because it's a maximum of 150 points per receipt and a maximum of three receipts per day. 150 points gets you $1 towards a gift card. So what I earned from all of this, I already scanned in three receipts, so I have to do the other two tomorrow, is 700 points for, from the PG um, GoodEveryday.com new rewards program. So that is gonna give me back $4.50 towards gift cards that I wanna buy. So that made all of this free plus a dollar and 12 cent moneymaker. And that is including the laundry and the Viva and the Cottonelle. Pretty dang fantastic. I will pop a picture up on the screen. This is a newer rewards program, so they don't have a ton of options at this point. I think there's like nine options to get gift cards, but they're pretty cool options. They're like Taco Bell, Panera, I think iTunes is in there. So it's totally free. Go sign up. I will leave the link in the description box. If you haven't signed up yet, if you are buying PG products anyways, you might as well rack up some points and get some free gift cards. All right, so that's what I got for you today. Again, make sure that you leave it in the comments and let me know, have you seen the 7,000 digital booster yet? I have not. 
I'm crossing my fingers that you get it. I'm crossing my fingers that I get it. And as always, if you got some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what you're picking up from Walgreens if you haven't gone yet or if you've already gone and you pick something up, let me know. I love it when you guys share your deals with me. All right, I will see you tomorrow for my CVS haul.